guys. Who wants to go kiting? You guys want to go kiting? Oh yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Let me finish, let me finish. I'm gonna tell these guys how to relaunch a uh, kite when it crosses in the water, okay? And then we can go kiting, okay? But wait for one second, okay? Hi guys, my name is Dimitri Marmenides, owner of Epic Kites, and today's video is gonna be on how to relaunch a kite that you just crashed in the water, okay? So you do have few methods of relaunching that kite once it crashes in the water, but again, it all depends on the conditions you're kiting in. If it's very light, if it's blowing like, a, let's say, three to seven miles per hour, then there's no way you're gonna relaunch that kite once it hits the water, okay? You're gonna be saying like, what, three to five miles an hour, what kite? Well, the Infinity was designed to fly in this kind of condition, very light, it stays there, but if I crash the kite, then I am done, okay? So, um, you have to make sure that, you know, if you wanna go kiting and you're gonna do a lot of crashing, there must be at least uh, seven to 12 miles an hour, okay? So if it's blowing seven to 11, seven to 10, then the Infinity, for example, Lago machine will relaunch no problem, okay? Um, all our models, the uh, Judge, the uh, Surf, the Renegade, the Screamer, um, relaunches very easy. Same thing with the Junior Pro kite for the kids, okay? These uh, kites relaunch really easy. But the kite that relaunch the most easier is the Surf kite because it was designed to relaunch really fast in the surf when it hits the water. You want that kite to relaunch very fast before the wave comes and kills it again, okay? So the reason it relaunched really fast is because of the way we shape the leading edge and the way the leading edge is not touching the water. So when the kite falls, and it has happened sometimes when the kite, the kite falls out of the water and it's facing you right here and you're like, oh my gosh, you're trying to make it turn to uh, move on the other side so the wheel can catch and you're like, oh, it doesn't move. Well, the uh, surf will design that the leading edge is not touching the water. So the wind can go under it and catch one of those wing tips and you can play and then it will turn it, okay? So that's the reason why also a lot of schools love to teach on the surf kite because it relaunches so fast and it's very stable. Now, the Junior Pro kite relaunches really easy. The, uh, also the Judge, the Renegade relaunch amazingly easy also, and the Screamer, okay? But it also uh, depends on the rider's input. So you need to know, you need to have to, you need to understand the kite, you need to be one with the kite. You know, you don't want to pull it too hard and choke the kite, you just want to feel it. It's like fishing, you want to tag, you know, depending which side you want to pull the kite on, you want to feel it, okay? So it takes time to understand how, um, a kite will relaunch okay, in the water. It also depends also on the current. If there's a, enough wind and then the kite falls in the water and then you cannot relaunch it, but there's at least like 12, 13 uh, uh, miles per hour and you still cannot relaunch, that means because there's current too. So you're losing that track. So now, the way to relaunch um, a kite in the water, you have three ways. You have um, the way that everybody does. So when the kite falls in the water, you just grab one side of the bar and start pulling slowly, slowly. You know, you don't want to choke the kite, pull it until the wing tip goes up a little bit and then slowly it's going to go at the edge of the window. And then when it goes there, then pull slowly and then the kite will uh, go up and you can go kiting, okay? The other method is called the old fashioned way is if there's no wind at all or if there's too much current and you cannot relaunch. You know, you're pulling left and right and the kite goes barely, goes, 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 and then it comes back down and then you go the other side. So if it doesn't relaunch, then we have the old fashioned way, which is you swim towards it, okay, really fast. So you want to make sure that you put a donkey stick or a chicken on your hook, everything's hooked. Take your board, push it away from you, but in front, so you don't have to swim back and get your board. And then once you're ready and the kite is facing you, then immediately swim fast towards it until uh, the kite goes on its back. As soon as it goes on its back, stop, okay? Because you don't want to uh, give more slack so the kite roll over. So stop, and you'll see the wing tips gonna come up, okay? So as soon as you see that, stop, you know, put the brakes, and then grab each side, any, any side you want, the left or the right, okay? And then start pulling. And then you'll see the wing tip is gonna start catching the wind, and then start forming the C, and then go towards the other window, and then you can relaunch it, okay? So that's the other way of relaunching a kite, the old fashioned way. And also the uh, third way is, for example, you try to relaunch a kite and suddenly it goes up and then it falls and it falls on his trailing edge, okay, facing you. So then this method is you need to grab the middle of the lines where the chicken loop and the stopper, the trim, everything is, but really far out, okay, far, and pull it hard. And that's gonna be called a hot punch. The kite is gonna come way up fast and that would be perfect for you to relaunch the kite, okay? But it's a little bit tricky on these kind of situations because sometimes the kite might be deep in the water and too much uh, heavy to, to go back up. So give it a few tags, one, two, three, pull it, you know, just jerk it so it comes up, okay? So these are the um, three uh, methods of relaunching a kite uh, when it crashes the water. Okay, so I guess uh, the guys are ready to be kiting. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, let's go, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. 